Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we added the form to create a question into the React component. And in this lecture, we will work on saving the submitted data in the Rails API. Okay, so first we need to create the create action into the API questions controller. So let's switch to the questions controller first. Okay, so first switch to the create directory. Okay, and here you need to open the questions controller. So go to the API v1 and click on the questions controller and here you can see that right now we have two actions that is index and the update counter okay now we need to implement our create question a create action okay so def create okay and then save it and now first check the routes that where we added this create action or create action in the options or not so we need to add here create as well okay so index create Okay, so we are, have two resource sections now. Now we need to implement this create action. So first we define a private method here. And into this private method, what we will do? We will set the params. So private, sorry, question params. Question params. And then now we need to permit the params here. So we can do params dot require. And here question and then permit okay, so we have only two attributes title and tag so we need to permit them so title and then tag. okay so we saved the question now what we need to do we need to instantiate the question object here so at the red question is equal to question dot new and then question params okay. now if the question is saved then we need to return the json object of a successfully created question else we need to return the error objects or the error messages while creating or when the validation validates okay so what we can do here let's say at the red question dot save if at the red question dot save okay if it is saved then just render json and here what we can provide data and into the data we need to provide a thread question that is created successfully and here we can add a status at the p value pair so the status is success here provide the api status that is a status okay this is the status that we gonna send into the json object or as a json object okay as a key value pair and this is the status that we uh, written on the API success or API failure. Okay, so now if the question is not saved, then what we need to return? So just copy this render statement and into the else part you can paste this. But now what we need to do to render as a data? So data at the rate question dot errors dot full messages. Okay, and here you need to send a status unsuccess. Sorry, sub failure. Failure and here you need to provide unprocessable entity. Sorry, unprocessable entity. Okay. Now the API endpoint has been implemented. So what we need to do as the next thing, we need to test this API from the postman first. Okay. So open your postman and send a new post request to the questions controllers create action okay so here you can see that i open my postman here first you need to select the request tab that is post now and here what you can provide http then localhost column 3000 sorry 2000 then api v1 question Okay, that's it. Okay, and now we need to set some params into the body or as a request body. Okay, so select the row from here and here select text JSON and now provide the request body here. So, okay, so in request body, what we need to do? Let's say title. Leave this title as empty now and again add the tag here and leave this tag as empty too. Okay, so what we can just keep it empty. Okay, and now just come to the 
terminal where the server is running and make some space here and now click on the send okay when you send this request the request is coming to the server and here you can see that we submitted the empty title and tag and the transaction has been rolled back it means we our question is not getting saved into the database and here you can see in the api response that what you are saying title cannot be blank and tag cannot be blank okay now as the next thing what we need to do we need to provide a valid title and the tag okay so let's provide a title here that is what do you mean by demo and proc in ruby okay. by the way if you are from ruby background then just to prepare this question this is very important to be and it is are uh, expected to be answered in every interview question from you okay so just prepare this okay so first fix this typo what do you mean by lambda and proc in ruby okay now if you submit this you will see the only error for the take cannot be blank okay and now let's submit it ruby okay so just submit with the ruby tag and you can see that this question is has been saved into the database and we get the data in the data we got the question object and we also get a key value pair that is status success okay now if you click on this question again you will see that the title has already been taken so we are seeing the error message here and the record is or status as failure okay and you can see that the transaction has been rolled back here so now we can see that our question getting saved into the database when we pass the uh, valid request body and when we skip any value or when we violate any validation then it is not getting saved into the database okay now let's try this via a react component so first switch to the new question component that we created in the last lecture so come to the project directory and here in new question dot jsx you can see that we have a submit or oh sorry a handle question submit event okay now what we need to do we need to implement the fetch api and send this form field as the post data to the rails api okay so let's uh, implement the function here so we can add let's say const and create question const create question and this will accept an argument that is the data okay and now we need to implement our fetch api here okay by the way you need to call this create question api from the handle question submit so just copy this from here Okay, and you need to pass form fields because we are getting form sorry the title and tag into the form fields okay so we can just pass this form field to the create question function okay now we need to implement our fetch api here so you know use the fetch keyword and then we just need to provide our api that is slash api and then v1 and then questions now just uh, add a curly brace here okay and into the curly bracket what we need to mention method type and the headers and the body okay by the way here i am not you can see in the url that i did not edit the host name that is localhost 3000 okay because it will automatically detect this and if i add uh, localhost 3000 here this will give some problems on the heroku because right now our app is hosted on heroku as well okay so i am just providing this path now let's met, uh, mention the method here so method and method name is post okay and then headers we all know what headers we need to provide so just only one that is content type content type and then application yes okay save this and after this header we need to provide the body Okay, so body will be json dot stringify and then data. This is the data that we are receiving as a form fields here. Okay, so we are calling the create question uh, function from into the handle question submit handler and then passing this form fields to the this uh, fetch API. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to implement some promise. Okay, or we need to get the handle the responses into the promise. Okay, so we can add then and here you can add the response simply add response.json okay. 
another promise that is then you don't need to check data and then just to console log the data console.log and then data okay or you can also add success here is a string and then add it just to separate that uh, what we uh, what we are receiving in the data okay and now let's catch the error suppose if there are any errors okay so catch and then error and now console.log dot log and just print error and then error and save this so we implemented the fetch api and call this function into the handle question submit handler okay now what we need to do we need to refresh the browser and open the bootstrap model so switch to the browser and refresh the page okay and once you refresh the page you will see let's first click on the inspect element and now click on and come to the console tab and then click on the contributor question button okay you can see that it is it is still displaying the bootstrap model now let's provide a question that is what do you mean by what do you mean by proc okay. and then just add the question mark and now make some space to the terminal okay and click on the submit question button okay and when you click on the submit question button you will see that the record has been saved into the database here you can see that request is coming from the react form to our api okay then we are receiving this uh, params into the question okay title what do you mean by proc and the tag that is ruby and here you can also see that we inserted the question into the database and transaction has been committed successfully and into the console you can find this data attribute we are getting here okay so into the data first we got the question object and then status success okay now what happens suppose if you again submit this same question okay so first clear the console and now submit the question again okay so here you can see that we are getting an error from the api that is 422 unprocessable entity that we added into the question controller here so you can see that we added the status unprocessable entity if question is not getting saved and here you can also check the error that we are receiving into the data that is title has been already taken and the status is failure now and this is the error that we need to display on the browser uh, sorry into the model form okay and we will do that in the next lecture because for this lecture the purpose was to implement the fetch api to post the question into the rails api okay and save it into the database if it is valid request if it is not valid then just to set the errors that we need to display on the form and we will do that in the next lecture till then try this lecture for creating a question at your end if any doubt you have let me know through the comment section and i will be happy to answer there okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe